Okay, so this is our new version of the robot bit. We're grateful to our friend Rudy for providing the money to buy some of these electronics for kids' education, especially robotics and coding. KittenBot has several robot bits. This, they say, is the latest version of a robot bit that works with both the uh, number or the version number one and version number two micro bit. It has a single LED light. It has holes, these through holes that will accommodate our Lego Technics parts. They're the right size and the right spacing between them. The battery bay is kind of short. These are kind of our standard 18650 batteries. They do fit in this bay. It has to be really forced down to get it seated all the way. It's not necessary to have it seated all the way. These little Grove type connectors here have only three pins each, unlike the Aboom, which has four pins. That means that the modules that we have from the Aboom company don't fit. The connectors don't fit in this board. They're not interchangeable. There are many other things that we have not yet investigated on this board. You can see lots of pins. There's a recharge port here that will recharge the battery. An on-off switch. A controller for higher voltages. Here's the code that I have for what I just showed, which is blinking the light off and on different colors. It's important in this, I will show you the first uh, code for this board, blinking that LED light on and off. It's important once you've downloaded the extension, Robot Bit Modules Plus and NeoPixel all download as extensions when you click on extension. It's convenient that we have the extension added right here. You don't have to search for it. You just click on this and you can see it's the same robot bit. Now I'll go back. It's important to have show showing in order to make this code work properly. What you do to get the RGB LED to work is you go to NeoPixels, you select the top option, and then you pull this group of code out. In other words, you're not going to declare a PIN number. You don't need this PIN number. Now you go back to robot bit and choose this first block RGB and pull it in and that's how I got this. So I'm, I'm telling the robot bit that I'm, I'm assigning the strip variable called strip to RGB. Now every time I go back to NeoPixel and pull out any of this information it will automatically go through the RGB system on the robot bit. That's how we get this to work. If you don't choose this light blue RGB, then none of this is going to work on this little LED light. Again, you have to add show in your code in order to get the RGB to work. All right, how do you get this? Here it is. And you will see it's called Robot Bit EDU. If you don't add the EDU, you're gonna get a different board. It's the EDU. This one. Here it is again, but here it's called Kitten Bot Sugar Series. Same board. So you need to keep in mind that you're looking for this layout if you want this board that I got. There will be.
be more.